Kaiser Redux. Just a nice and relaxing game as the United States of America. Nothing can go possibly go wrong. There will be no civil wars whatsoever. We're just gonna have a nice, peaceful, and wholesome game now in our nice and relaxing campaign. I've decided, you know what, I'm gonna go for Yui Long as our president because he's very meme worthy, and that's pretty much the only reason I'm getting him. Supreme Court decision. Uh, no, they have no obligation. We don't care about that. Riots in Texas. I guess there's nothing we can do about that. Now there's violence in Texas. Oh no! What will that mean for our country? Bleeding Texas event as well now? Ooh, that's gonna be rough. Such a shame that I'm building up Texas right now. I wonder what would happen with all our resources. I guess I'll let them do their own thing and see what happens. Oh no, they're looting now. Oh no, all red states. We will not allow him to resign. But there's independent support for Texas. No, anything but that, please. What would they, we ever do once Texas were to grow independent? I guess they want us to act quickly, huh? I guess we can do that. Don't know what it'll do for us, but whatever. Oh no, people are removing me. There's a civil war brewing. I will stand by the Republic. Actually, never mind. I don't think I need to stand by the Republic. What I do need to go with is allow Texas to declare independence. And there it is. Texas leaves. What? Who could have ever predicted that? Who could have ever predicted that Texas was gonna go independent? And look at that. Our beautiful, beautiful focus tree. We can do our own thing now. That is exactly what I want. Now, luckily, we do get to keep the things that we've researched already. I'm very happy about that. Now, obviously, we gotta build up again even though we're really in a bad position at the moment. That's only temporary. What? We lost land. Unacceptable, how did that happen? Mexico stole my land. Obviously, people are trying to influence us, which we in turn are gonna do our best to get rid of. Obviously, since our land got stolen, we do need to kind of build up a force against whatever the hell is trying to stop us. And something else is we don't want Texaco to take over our stuff, but apparently it stays low, low as the uh, lowest we can go. We can't get rid of Texaco, sadly. So we'll just focus on everything else. We can deal with these rebel rousers in our country Kick them out eventually. Ooh, look at that, we got our first units. It ain't much, but it's a start. Deal with these runs, right? I think, yeah, that'll be the end of both the America First Party and the clan. I will also have to go for uh, everything's bigger in Texas because I want to deal with Texaco as soon as humanly possible. Now the Mexicans have a lot more troops than we do, so contesting them right now it's gonna be very difficult. Eventually though, we will be able to do it. Just not right now. Let's bolster Texaco. Get rid of him as soon as humanly possible, man. And we'll get more factories. More military factories. I want more civilian factories, god damn it. It is low currently. I guess maybe I have to do everything else first. Might as well get rid of the Dust Bowl, because it's been harming us quite a bit these days. And there we go, we're about to recover from the Dust Bowl, which is going to be so helpful. Let's also try and upgrade our stuff, because we will be needing to go to war soon. With Mexico, with America, with Canada maybe, I don't know, we'll see who it is. When we finally get our fourth research slot back, and after that we can also get our fifth one back if we go to expand college, which we will definitely do, of course. Alright, so we have 18 troops at this point, and I do think it's about time that we show 
Mexico response. They dare to take off our province. That is not acceptable. They haven't really reinforced the border properly. So we're just gonna walk in and take whatever we can. And hopefully this will stick to a limit of war and doesn't blow up into proportions that uh, we won't be able to handle. But that's, you know, worries for later. Worries for later. We got our CB. We'll focus on getting the revenge for the Alamo modifier as well. And then honestly, I think it's time for us to move in. Another part of the international? Maybe it isn't time for us to move in. <laughs> we'll wait for a little bit still. No, oh, they've moved all their troops in here now. So I guess we won't be able to just move in and take land, sadly. It is what it is. What's up with these weird borders? Even Assyria exists now. Do they have a focus free of their own, though? They do! That's interesting. But can they expand? Kingdom? Oh, they can! See, now that is interesting. It's only a few things, though, sadly. United Mexican States declared war on the Pacific. Yo, this might actually be a great opportunity for us then to counterattack. I'm guessing, yeah, a bunch of their troops will escape, run away, for which we will make good use of that and jump in and take what is rightfully ours. Gonna. Well, over here we are quite successful, I think. But I'm gonna attempt to encircle this one dude in here. I think it should be fine. There we go, we did it. And we killed the encirclement. We only killed 6,000 troops. They still have a lot more to go. I don't know how doable this will be actually, but we'll, we'll try our best. Keep this guy in here in the airport. We could potentially encircle him in a jiffy as well. And we have. Beautiful. Oh, sadly, everyone get called in because of this. At least their capital has fallen. So there's that. They're not even close to dying, sadly. In the meantime, just keep moving through, please. We're about to get somewhere worthwhile eventually. Wait, they took the promise that I wanted? The absolute assholes. We'll still be able to kick him out, but it's not gonna be as satisfying as just straight up encircling them. Oh, at least we got these boys encircled, and hopefully we can actually kill them off. They're about to make a landing, but to that I say no. Yes, no, that's not where it was. It was in here. In Houston. God damn it. They're moving out of there though. Alright, we got these ones stuck in here, so that's good at least. Let's try and shorten the front line a little bit though. Damn it, dude. They're really trying to cut us off, huh? You know what? In return, we're gonna cut you off. How'd you feel about that, huh? Alright, this encirclement's also almost done, hopefully. Let's attack. Or maybe not. Just wait for now. Hmm, just for the majors alone, we did some massive damages, I think. Well, actually, no. 23,000 and 10,000. No, but that's actually pretty good still. I'll take it back. We're doing well. And another encircling done. Beautiful. No. There's more encirclements to be had. Oh, they already made the landing. Oh, man. I really gotta garrison my ports, I think. It's just to be safe. No, you're not gonna escape. We just barely managed to encircle you. There's no easy death for you. Sorry. And look at that. We've almost unencircled ourselves. Damn it. If, uh... Reinsert us though. Uh, almost. There we go, we got him. 
I think with that we should have yeah, 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 yeah we should have more resources more supplies more everything this guy just needs to be kept in here though in the meantime we get some air forces up right and now take care of the last remnants for some reason this whole spiel is empty though and i don't know why but i mean if it's gonna be like that might as well send my troops across eh oh it's almost done come on annihilate these boys oh there we go the final troop has been annihilated and we've cleared this whole spiel up oh there we go we've cleaned this whole spiel up the Mexican border is completely collapsing. And there we go, look at that. Just a final stretch left. Alright, here's the thing. There's so many troops in here and I can't push through, but I could potentially encircle them. As long as I don't allow them to move in further and deeper inside of here. And so I will do just that. Of course, they're gonna try and stop me. Which is unacceptable. Look at that. Look at how many troops there are probably in here. And they're actually trying to run away even deeper inside of here. That is actually really good. Keep up the pressure. Take this empty tile that they've left alone. And as soon as they're out of Durango, we're uh, moving in as well. Eight troops would be in here. And we can get all of them destroyed. One troop is already dead. And it seems like a, one's about to die as well. No, actually, there's already two dead. A third one's about to die. Somewhat soonish. Oh, there's already four dead. Five. Come on, just a few more. Six. These final two should fall pretty quickly, I think. Yeah, final one left. Oof, all dead. Now focus on the rest. We for some reason Australia is in here. Go on, take care of Australia and then we'll fight. Oh, they're actually running away again. So what I'll do is do the exact same thing. Although well, they do have a port this time. But hopefully not for long. Oh, Mexico actually dead. All the good stuff. Annihilate the remnants, please. No escape. Just kill them off, please. There we go. Mexico has been taken care of. And I guess that means that we should probably get in here to hopefully deal with the Pacific. Or at least eventually deal with the Pacific. Alright, we cleaned stuff up here finally. We shouldn't have much trouble. And I guess we could technically focus on uh, the northern border even though we probably don't really have the troops for that all right we got 100 points now we can actually hopefully get some manpower in again because we are at zero after that war with mexico now it seems that the pacific states are about to win they have to have the us so i think i'm just gonna start and fabricate a claim on them so that they uh, Lessen the load on the Union State and the American, well, the regular America. That way we might have a bit more time. Yeah, see, they're moving in. Already they're moving in. Got the claim. I could technically move in now. I just don't have the troops to really pull it off properly. All my equipment is going straight into garrisons, sadly. But maybe I should give it a try. Regardless, huh? Yeah, man, it's just all going straight into garrisons. I think I'll have to establish a proper garrison unit. That's given me some manpower back. Not much, but some. Would you just straight up going back into garrisons again? Actually, no, it's mostly airplanes, I guess. And everyone's giving me guns, which I'm very helpful. For, uh, well, it's very helpful of them, and I'm very grateful for. I'm not very helpful for that. For stealing away guns from the cause, despite me not even ever gonna setting foot into the old world. 
I'm only interested in the US, alright? The rest can perish. Now it seems that they're doing a good job of doing just that either way. When Russia is invading the Istanbul Pact. Very interesting. You know what? I'm gonna pump these two dudes out. I'm gonna attach them to the army. Give them some random schmuck leader. Guess this one will do. They're plugging up a few holes in the front line. I think I'll make like two more and then I'll just go and declare war. Oh, the fall of London. Oh no. Oh yeah, actually that does mean good stuff. Because hopefully that means that we'll get out of this war somewhat soon-ish. It seems like they're taking it over really quickly. Oh, Russia is actually pushing in quite well into the Ottomans. They actually haven't beaten the Cairo Pact yet, surprisingly enough. It doesn't seem like they'll beat them anytime soon with how it's going. Okay, now the Horseman. Well, let's give you some military police. There we go. Our garrisons are way better now. Do you have more room to make guns? Or gun boys? Four should be enough. And then we'll go to war. Well, I mean, technically we are at war, but we'll go to war even more. And there we go. The four units are out. Spread yourselves. Beautiful. And once they get there, it's time to go to war. All right, our troops are more or less uh, have arrived. So instead of waiting until they get to the exact position, I'm just gonna go and declare war. All right, they're moving in on us, cheeky boys. We should be able to hold on just fine. All right, they finished attacking in here. Can we counterattack them? Push him out, man. Wherever we can, we should go for encirclements. Hopefully, this one is successful. Look at that. A beautiful little instrument. Let's take care. Let's take care of it before they uh, find out. There's another potential to be had down in here. At least this one's finishing up really quickly, so we can focus on getting another one somewhere else. Well, this one we got. Can we finish it off though? And well, this one we have right next to it. So let's. And get this one done as well. Come on, finish it. Yes, and yes. Two dead. Oh, there's actually a supply hub that we need to get in here. And maybe the one in here. And again. I see a great opportunity to encircle someone. Shall we taking it? There we go. Encircled and about to get annihilated from pretty much every side. Quite quickly as well. I'm also starting to kind of like run out of manpower, so I might actually have to go for the Carson Panhandle thingy. They're somehow trying to stop me, and they're actually successful. They weren't even trying, they were just passing by. Come on, this guy can't hold us. Yeah, we've broken through. Once we get Grand Junction, we'll have control over it. Over the Carson thingy. And then we'll be able to get some free cores in here and we also need the oklahoma panhandle i thought we had it no it's all of this take care of this one unit and then you take care of the panhandle please this is quite the ambitious encirclement hopefully they don't try and unencircle themselves three entire units for us that's big especially since we're fighting america and there we go Three cores in three days. That's actually kind of quick. Oh, did we get the cores? Or I don't know actually. It is a core of ours. Good. It just doesn't feel like we got more ex uh, manpower. Why did that happen? Did, why does it keep happening on its own? I don't know why. It was supposed to be my land, but I guess we can take control over this because that's a few extra troops encircled. And more encirclements, oof. Instantly dead. I'm gonna attempt to make like a big encirclement again. See if it works. 
This side doesn't, but maybe if I rig through here, it does seem to be working. Oh no. Need to recover a little bit before I move in deeper. I mean, I do have... the supply hub. So you know what I'm gonna do? Just gonna connect it up forcefully. That way we can at least use it, hopefully. And I connected it up, but it's not much at the moment. Oh, we got a nice little instrument in here. That's finished up. There's even Russians for some reason. Oh well. They're not long for this world. That's for sure. Well, at least there's some progress in Britain. It's not much, but I think maybe if they take Liverpool and Leeds, that could be enough. But then they'll still have to take care of France, which doesn't seem to be budging whatsoever. The front line is static. Completely static. Taking Los Angeles. So their fall shouldn't take too much longer. What? No! I got encircled? I gotta get my troops out somehow. Simply because this little poop head fell apart. Man, what fucking assholes. Oh, I'm attempting to kind of reconnect everything up. So that we get some supplies in. It's proving to be quite difficult though. Alright, I've somewhat stabilized the front line. It's still a mess, but this point I, I gotta move in man in the meantime just rush through the VPs hopefully we can win that way oh, we're about to take Sacramento come on that should be enough right okay so it's not but maybe if we go to Carson oh collapse of the Pacific state oh thank God we did it there we go. We got some of our lands. Western America. It's a start. The International still hasn't fallen. One day they will, and then we can actually join the Entente, because I do need the Entente, I think, to beat up on the rest of America. Also, I'm playing as the Union, the United States of Western America, but why is our, does our flag have a condom in it? Finally, the UK at least has fallen, and now France is gonna be falling up a very soon. I say very soon, but they still have a sizable amount of, um, of victory points. Hopefully, it doesn't last too much longer. Is that buddy Alexander? Could you, by any chance, be related to Nicholas of the Cageworth family? Oh well, doesn't matter. Just kill all France, please. I want to make allies with the Entente. No, oh, I think this might be it for France. Hopefully, at least. Oh, and there we go. It's over. We can actually take some land as well. I'm gonna take all of Mexico. I don't care if they don't let us. I took care of that fair and square. It is my land. And maybe some Norway. Who's gonna stop me? Apparently Sweden. But I got three pieces of Norway. Ooh, and I got 50k manpower. Just like that. It's all gonna go into our stuff. Because our... Troops aren't really fully trained. Alright, since we are at peace, we can now go for Texan allies. Wait, they want to... Oh, they want to join up with, with us again. Yes? There we go. I am now the US of A. No, wait. They just annexed us. No, 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 no. In that case, we don't want that. Oh, and the game crashed. Uh, let me try that one again. 
Dude, this music in the loading screens of Kai's Redux is always so nice. But I'm scared of putting it in my videos because I'm gonna get copyrighted. I'm gonna put it in this one just in case, just to see if I'm gonna get copyrighted because it's happened like 20 times at this point. Uh, maybe 21st time's the charm, you never know. They betrayed us once, they can betray us again. We will not join. No, hopefully we'll have enough time to make friends with the Entente. There we go, let's join the Entente Sphere. That is the way to go, I think. Uh-oh, they're just playing war goal on us. How long is it gonna take? Luckily, 150 days. We got plenty of time. When I did the focus, are you gonna allow me to join? Yeah, I care. Uh, I wouldn't like to completely join. That's the thing. Uh oh, they're about to declare war on us. Hello? I'm gonna preemptively get a CB on them as well. Oh, we can join the Germans instead. You know what? That's fine too, I guess. The rice bag grows. I'm not gonna help with Russia. So, there's that. What else sit in here and vibe? Uh, I don't think so, because I need the manpower currently. Actually, you know what? What I'll do? And then I'll tell them, okay. Nope, our CB is finished. There are troops. I don't know where they are. Maybe they're in all the war. Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna move in. Okay. How many do they have? What the? You know what? I'm gonna make use of it. I don't give a shit. I don't know why they deleted the troops. <laughs> I'm making use of it. I'm making use of it. I don't care. Oh, there they are already. Did it get more? Yeah, they did. No, no, in here, please. And in here. Good. Oh, they're retreating too quickly for us to encircle them properly. I mean, they'll probably rebuild their army eventually. And that's why I wanted to get a bunch of encirclements first to hand. There we go. Encirclement complete. I think we've, you know, established the front line at this point. Although they still don't really have that much on the field, troop-wise. can still attempt to encircle some stuff here and there. They're trying to flee? That is not allowed. No, they are successfully fleeing, goddammit. Oh, there's a relatively easy encirclement to be had. Come on, you gotta make it. If not, then this way at least. Oops, I might have joined the wrong faction down here. I'll be honest with you. But at least we were we were still winning in America. They've sent a lot of troops in here. But yeah, life is good. Not so much if you're living in Europe though at the moment. Oh well, that is not my problem. Should have let me join the Entente. That's all I'm saying. Come on. Oh, no. They're trying to encircle us. But we are trying to encircle them as well. Don't let them win. We're getting closer to actually being able to form the Dixielands. Black, South Carolina, North Carolina, North Carolina coast. It's just Calorine. Calo Carolina. There we go. Never expect that to be a difficult word. There we go. Some air forces will do the trick. Let's attempt to get the coastline so we can start our coring process. No, we just need to control North Carolina. Ca Carolina proper. By getting really and maybe even Charlotte. No, really will be enough. There we go. Pushing them back from really. Oh, it actually was. Never mind. Core it. Flag looks like poo poo. Dixieland protectorate. I prefer Texas. Or maybe that's just me, huh? 
an old fashioned like that. Should probably also put my Air Force up north. Alright, maybe we should regroup a little bit because I feel like we're at a bit of a stalemate. Alright, we're about to take Richmond. That's eight points. No, it's not even close. We're gonna need to go all the way up to Washington. So, slow but steady rise. We have green air. Let's attempt once again to push through. Okay, it's going a lot better now. Okay, mostly green. Very excited about that. You're trying to make me not sneak in here, but I am gonna sneak in there. I'm gonna take Washington. I think once I take Washington, it'll, it'll be over. Okay, so maybe it isn't over with Washington. But I'm getting a few more VPs and maybe even up to Philadelphia. And then it'll be over. It isn't still. Jesus, New York? I feel like I'm moving the goalposts constantly. Oh, nice land circumvent, they're all dead, never mind. Oh, there we go, we're close to taking New York City. City of the rats and stuff like that, I don't know. Never been there. Just hear that it's very expensive and there's a lot of rats there. I guess that's all that matters. What's about to fall? Maybe? There we go. It fell. You <laughs> motherfucker. That's my land. They're taking Ohio. I mean, it's not a big loss, but it's a thought that counts, okay? They're taking my Ohio. Just because I don't want to have it doesn't mean that you can have it. Oh, there we go. We own almost everything. They better give me my land. But I didn't get a core on Trondelag. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now with that, I will say that this is pretty much all the time I have left for today. I uh, do hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment. Oh. Imperialism for America, yes. I'll just click it. I'm not going to do anything quickly because I don't feel like it. We don't really have a new focus tree, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. And hopefully, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.